you can't do anything now without a data centre. They're as important these days as your electricity supply or your water supply. You can't do without them. But they need to be built with sustainability in mind because they do use an awful lot of electricity. So here we are at Cody Park, one of our data center and campuses. This used to be the gas turbine research establishment in the days gone by. We've done a, turn it into a data center campus. And on the left, we have our conservation area, which is dedicated to biodiversity for the whole site. We provide the infrastructure and all of the services that allow a customer to deploy the servers on which they do all their clever processing in that room. What they do on their server and how they do that, that's up to them and far cleverer people than me will do all the stuff in that grey box that does all the clever stuff that drives the actual internet and where all your data sits and serves. Every computer itself generates a huge amount of heat. As you use that computer, as electricity going from that, that electricity dissipates as heat. We've got to take that heat out. How do we do that, take that heat out? We cool that, we cool that through air conditioning systems. We use water cooling. These are all costs in terms of the environmental impact of those data centers. So when we first acquired the site in 2008, it was literally a brownfield site. It is now completely transformed into a working data center campus with greenfield areas, with lots of biodiversity in it. And a significant amount of engineering to make the buildings energy efficient, water efficient and trends to reduce our impact in the planet. Let's talk about the internet because the internet it's like a global utility. A load of devices, a load of connecting devices whether it's fiber, electrical, Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it, to a data center which is the equivalent of your power station. And that system uses a huge amount of energy. The going figure is about 4% of total generation capacity is used by the internet. And only 25% is actually consumed by the data center itself. When we started at ARC, we really focused on the energy side of things because energy efficiency was where we were going to make our unique selling point. We started with direct fresh air cooling systems basically deployed en masse because that was a way of reducing the energy load on the data center where more than 50% of the energy consumed was for the cooling system to where we are now where about 6%. Direct fresh air uses a lot of water so what we did was we put in rainwater harvesting systems and this collects the rainwater from A102, A101, most of the campus which then goes to a treatment plant which is difficult to see but you can see the big green, green tanks and that treatment plant takes the rainwater, it fil filters it, puts it through a UV process and then depending on the salt content of the water it can either go straight into our evaporative coolers or it will go through an RO plant to basically get the salts out. Having described where the power consumption really is, if we really want to make a big change in how much energy is used by the internet it's really down to consumer behavior. If the demand didn't exist, the data center wouldn't need to exist. So, so us as consumers, if we start to think about, do we need to do that on the cloud? Do we need to do that? You know, do we need to store those things? That will also reduce the impact. What we now need is, is actually the public to understand and government to understand and big businesses to understand what can they do to reduce their impacts on the data that they are using to be able to manage that in a much more efficient way, recognizing the impact that they are having on the planet by just letting things go.